to my channel. I hope you guys are staying safe and well. Today I'm going to make crispy buffalo cauliflower. Here I have my cauliflower. I have some flour. I have onion powder, garlic powder, salt, paprika, breadcrumbs, hot sauce, butter, maple syrup, cooking spray, and some water. Stay tuned guys. So guys, let's make the batter for my cauliflower. In here, I'm gonna add my flour, my paprika, onion powder, garlic powder, and salt. Just a little bit. I'm gonna add my water. mix until it's nice and smooth. Okay guys, so now you just add your cauliflower to your mixture. And you're gonna get it evenly into the batter. Fold it evenly. Next, I'm going to quote it into my uh, breadcrumbs. Preheat on 425. Now I'm just going to spray my baking sheet. And you shake off your batter before coating it into the breadcrumbs. Just do like that. Look at that. It's looking good already. Just like this. Okay guys, I'm going to stick this in my oven for like 20 minutes and then I'm going to turn it on the other side. So the other side could be nice and crispy as well. Stay tuned. All right, so let's make our buffalo sauce. I'm gonna add one tablespoon of butter. My stove is on medium heat. maple syrup and I'm going to pour my hot sauce in here. Okay guys, this is my buffalo sauce. I'm gonna let this sit to the side until my cauliflower is done. Stay tuned. Okay guys, it's been 20 minutes and I'm going to turn them on the other side. Stay tuned. Oh, they're so nice and crispy. Look at that guys. Look at that. Yeah. Guys, the cauliflower is roasted on both sides. 
So basically what I'm going to do now is dip each one into my buffalo sauce. Then I'm going to put it back in the oven because I want it to be crispy. You don't have to do that. You can just eat it if you wish, but I want it to get more crispy. So I'm just basically pour it into the sauce. I've finished quoting it and now I'm going to put it back in the oven for maybe another 15 minutes. Stay tuned. Yep. guys my crispy buffalo cauliflower so yummy i hope you guys will give this recipe a try until next time be kind to others one love